Hello, Senator Navix. My name is Sanders, and I present you McDonald's Happy Meal for the month of November 2021. The My Little Pony and Transformers. These five figures, as manufactured by McDonald's, represent My Little Pony and Transformers from the anime series. Now, with your favorite food such as hamburger, spaghetti, or chicken meal. Upon opening Happy Meal box, you will get eight Happy Meal toys in their printed plastic pouch, indicated their name, and the feature instructions for their gimmick. For My Little Pony toys, you will get Rainbow Dash in the pouch with orange printing, Rarity in the pouch with brown printing, Pinkie Pie in the pouch with blue printing, and Fluttershy in the pouch with pink printing, Optimus Prime in the pouch with green printing, Bumblebee in the pouch with blue printing, Megatron in the pouch with red printing, and Starscream in the pouch with brown printing. Upon opening Rainbow Dash, you will get three toy pieces. The Rainbow Dash figure sculpting was good. It is not possible, but the color was great. Its mane is a colorful cell thread, much like his hair, similar to our Barbie doll toys. And its tattoo was also there to complete Rainbow Dash character details. The arch is a neon green translucent sparkly plastic molded with Rainbow Dash insignia on top. And its turntable has a lime gear and dark green platform. Rainbow Dash can be pegged in the turntable together with the arch to complete the toy features. Upon assembling the toy, Rainbow Dash can now showcase 360 degrees spin via turning the gear manually. Rarity sculpting was good. It is not possible, but the color was great. Its mane is a colorful silk thread, much like a hair similar to a Barbie doll toys, and its tattoo was also there to complete Rarity's character details. The arch is a purple translucent sparkly plastic molded with Rarity insignia on top. And its turntable has our purple gear and dark blue platform. Rarity can be pegged in the turntable together with its arch to complete the toy feature. Upon assembling the toy, Rarity can now showcase 360 spin by turning the gear manually. The Pinkie Pie figure sculpting was also good. It is not possible, but the color was great. Its mane is a color for silk thread, much like a hair similar to our Barbie doll toys. And its tattoo was also there. To complete Pinkie Pie character details, the arch is a light blue translucent sparkly plastic molded with Pinkie Pie insignia on top, and its turntable has a light blue gear and blue platform. Pinkie Pie can be pegged in the turntable together with the arch to complete the toy features. Upon assembling the toy, Pinkie Pie can now showcase 360 degrees spin by turning the gear manually. Fluttershy figure stopping was good. It is not possible, but the color was great. Its mane is a colorful silk thread much like a hair similar to a Barbie doll toy, and its tattoo was also there to complete Fluttershy character details. The arch is a yellow translucent sparkly plastic molded with Fluttershy insignia on top, and its turntable is a yellow gear with honey yellow platform. Fluttershy can be pegged in the turntable together with the arch to complete the toy features. Upon assembling the toy, Fluttershy can now be showcased 360 degrees spin by turning the gear manually. For the Little Pony gimmick, you can combine their individual platform by connecting it. The individual gears can now work together, so each pony can be showcased all at once by rotating the gears manually. You just need to angle it right, and all of them can spin clock and counterclockwise at the same time when you manually spin the gears. For Transformers, Optimus Prime is a symmetrical figure with few articulation. It has a holographic chest that can change its printed details depending on viewing angle or when you swivel its right arm. This Optimus Prime design is based on the Transformers Bumblebee Cyberverse Adventure. It is simplified and kinda different to the classic Optimus Prime we know. Even this is a Transformer, this toy cannot transform to a vehicle it represents, but it seems durable to the hands of a kid and can withstand a drop. It is also great as a display piece on the collection cabinet. Bumblebee is a symmetrical figure with few articulation. It also has a holographic chest that can change its printing details depending on viewing angle or when you swivel its right arm. This Bumblebee design is based on Transformers Bumblebee Cyberverse Adventure. It is simplified and kinda different to the traditional classic Bumblebee we know. Even this is a Transformers, this toy cannot transform to the vehicle it represents, but seems durable to the hands of a kid and can withstand a drop. It is also great as a display piece or in your collection cabinet. Megatron is an asymmetrical figure with few articulation. It has a holographic chest that can change its printed details depending on the viewing angle or when you swivel its right arm. 
This Megatron is based on the Transformer Bumblebee Cyberverse adventure. It is simplified and kinda different to the classic Megatron we know. Even this is a Transformer, this toy cannot transform to the vehicle it represents, but it seems durable to the hands of the kid and can withstand a drop. It is also great as a display piece on your collection cabinet. Starscream is a asymmetrical figure with few articulation. It has a holographic chest that can change its point of details depending on the viewing angle or when you swivel its right arm. This Starscream design is based on the Transformers Bomber B Cyberverse Adventure. It was simplified and kinda different to the classic Starscream we know. Even this is a Transformer, this toy cannot transform to the vehicle it represents, but it seems durable to the hands of a kid and can withstand a drop. It is also great as a display piece on your collection cabinet. For articulation, head can spin, left arm can also spin 360 degrees, right arm is restricted from spinning due to its gimmick, with swivel, and no leg articulation whatsoever. It's complaining time. These November Heavy Meal toys were not awesome like its other predecessor. It is okay, but a pass for a person who only collect good Happy Meal. The little pony figure was awesome to collect, but its accessory sucks. The turntable was crap. Even the connection was secure. It is frustrating that you need to manually align its gears to work together. And to add more frustration. More than two gears and you will have a hard time making it work. The gears wasn't able to spin and you need two or more hands to perform its intended gimmick. The little pony arch is also plain and blunt. It looks like was molded identically unless you keep a keen eye on it. It also doesn't match the little pony color and was made up with the softer plastic that can bend over time. For the worst offender was the transformer figure. For the name imply, this figure should transform at least. Who cares about this holographic chest nonsense? It restricts the basic arm articulation that this figure has. Its arms and leg is also hollow, so it looks like a cheap toy at all. Or maybe I'm too much to criticize, but can you explain? Why this Starscream arms were in 45 degrees angle? What's this manufacturer thinking? A basic standing figure should be at least standing straight. Now it's anchored to rotate its arm with this molding. I almost see that this transformer lineup will be covered with dust on a collection cabinet or became a theater of thrown by the 3 years old boys. Look at the face of this thing. Here are the comparison to my other toy collection. Lego minifigure, Takarotomi Pikachu, Jolly Kid Mills Larry on Laurel Philippines, Bandai 5 inch Ashton Hero Red Ranger, 1 to 1 4 for No Good Wing Gundam, Rebel Tekudi, and 1 to 12 scale Oyaji. Overall, I will give this toy this face reaction. My Little Pony was great, especially if you collect them. It is cheaper but somehow limited to 4. The Transformer somehow is a meh on my own opinion. It is hollow, non-transformable, and has a limited articulation. The details was not good also, especially it is based on a kid's show Cyberverse. They should stick on one theme. So for the hard collector, can at least feel the glee of collecting. Never say the less, it is still a fun toy for a person who is a happy completionist or for kids, since this toy seems durable enough for rough play. This is my personal review, my point of view, and see you next time for more!